Prabhu ji. Hare Krishna. Welcome everybody to day five of the Bhagavatam Kids Camp. So today is going to be the penultimate day. That means the day before the last day. Um, so we'll uh, try and get as many people as possible to play the games and do other things. But before that, uh, we will... Uh, Chant the prayers and then we will start. Okay, everybody, please repeat after me. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Narayanam Namaskrityam Narayanam Namaskritam Naram Chayvam Narayanam Saraswati Vyasam Devim Saraswati Vyasam Tato Jaya Mudiraye Tato Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Prabhu Nityananda Priyadvaita Gadadhara Priyadvaita Gadadhara Shiva Sadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Shiva Sadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Rama Hare Hare Thank you, everybody. It's okay, Mridol. I was just kidding. I know it was a type. Yeah, Vinas. so I'm going to put all of you on mute now. But Vinas. Hare Krishna. So um, I'm going to announce the winners, of course. And uh, for the games, the gopis are leading with 20 points. And the gopas are with 10 points. I'm sure they'll catch up. So that's okay. Because yesterday we played only <laughs> one uh, uh, game. So the winner for the day three activity, which was the rhyme, is Vihan Dikshit. So I really liked his rhyme. So uh, he has written it. Of course, many of you were there. You all have written uh, it on your own. And uh, you have uh, recited, so it was very nice. So I particularly liked Vehans. See, don't worry if you don't win because only one person can win a day. I really liked everybody's. So it's not that um, I didn't like somebody. Okay. So, <laughs> okay, fine. So Vehan Dikshit for day three. And for day four, which was the fruit basket activity, actually, I had a really tough time because so many of you had done so beautifully, so wonderfully. So I really had a very tough time in uh, choosing. But then I have selected the child who has scored also 10. I liked uh, um, uh, Shri Jayans. That was also very nice. And uh, I also like Namits very much, you know, some of these. And Rayansh and Ruthvik also, very wonderfully they had done. So, but the prize goes to Gautam, Lohit's brother, Gautam. So, he is a winner for um, day four activity. But I also am announcing a prize for Namit because he has been helping me. I really liked uh, his uh, um, fruit basket, whatever he had done, very beautiful. You can go to the Telegram group and see, very ornamental, very beautiful. So I thought, 
Okay, uh, Namit, he's been helping me with being uh, the scorer, timer, everything. So, Namit, you also get a prize. No, this is not my, deci my decision alone. Uh, Sangini also said, so nice. Um, so, Namit also gets the prize. All right. Only thing was, uh, okay, by the way, one more thing. I hope all of you are uh, honestly attempting the questions. Okay. Don't uh, try to do once and then try doing again <laughs> with another email ID. Don't do all of those things. Okay. So, tissue paper, time consuming. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> anyway, everybody's was unique and beautiful in your own way. And uh, some of you had even offered. So, that's wonderful. So, these are the prize winners for the... Uh, Day three and day four activities, assignments. Okay. Yes, Vihan, please type. Vihan, Shambhavi, whatever you want to say, type. No unmuting now. Okay. So, oh, you have raised your hands for uh, the game, is it? <laughs> ah, ha, 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 very nice. Okay. Mm. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Everybody drop your hands. I am going to put you on gallery view and I will touch. That's what we will do. Pinky, pinky, ponky, I will do. Okay. Flower for the basket from tissue paper. Time consuming. I, Vihan also told the same thing. <laughs> and Kanishka is. <laughs> okay. If Ishwari, drop your hand. Shambhavi, drop your hand. Only Namit. Namit, raise your hand. Okay. So here we go. Now. I'm going to put you in gallery view. Others also, Tejas, Nandaja, Janavi, all of you switch on your videos. Otherwise, how you'll come in the front? Only if you switch on your videos, you'll come to the first uh, screen. Okay. Let me see. Mm -hmm. That's Arika. Okay, Arika, raise your hand. You're from the Gopis team. <laughs> okay. Mm. Vihan Tamanna. <laughs> I'm sorry. Vihan Tamanna. So he is uh, not Aprameyan. Aprameyan, drop your hand. Vihan, raise your hand. Vihan Tamanna. Okay. <laughs> sorry. You, you know how it was? Vihan Dikshit was here and below that was Vihan Tamana. <laughs> so my hand went to one of the Vihans. All right. So let's go back to speaker view. Okay. So who wants to go first? What a coincidence. Yeah, really amazing coincidence. <laughs> Sorry, Vihan. <laughs> that was like, Ishwari, drop your hand. No raising hand. Okay. So, who wants to go first? Gopis or Gopas? <laughs> Vihan Dikshit was so happy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Ishwari, drop your hand. Ishwari, you'll go out of the room. Next time you do it, you're going out of the room. Okay. Pavam. Hmm. <laughs> your namesake. Namesake is playing. Okay, who wants to go first? Arika or Vihan? Arika. Wow. Brave girl. Okay. Gopi. All right. So what's the activity? Let's see. Mm. <laughs> okay, fine. All right. This is going to be fun now. Um, the activity is a jigsaw puzzle. You know what's a jigsaw puzzle, right? So it's basically uh, an image which is kind of cut into pieces and then jumbled up. So you just have to drag and drop. Uh, I will show one. I'll show one. You see how it is to be done and then uh, rest, you know, you can do. Okay, I'm going to go give two images, two different images to both of you. Arika will get one image. Vihan will get a different image. I will do another one. I'll do a third one. Okay, let the music start.
Can you hear the music? All right. Okay. Okay. So this is a jumbled up. Um, you know, one minute. Ah. Huh? So I. What happened? Wow. Okay. So this is the one. All right. So it's very simple. Okay. So you just have to hold it. Use your mouse. Okay. Click, click your mouse and then just drag. Okay. So whichever way you, the image will be smaller than the space. So you'll have to keep it properly. Okay. Okay, so how quickly you are able to do it? Based on that, we'll see who wins. Namit, you're ready? You'll have to be on the spot. Huh? When I say restart puzzle, I'll be clicking this button, restart puzzle. At that time, you'll have to uh, start the timer. Okay, fine. Okay, so you understood the activity? All right. Okay. No, I'm not going to unmute you. <laughs> You'll all scream. <laughs> okay, Arika. Oh, you're using iPad. iPad, will it work? I don't know. Uh, is it touch, Arika? It's touch. Okay, you try, you try, I'll open another, uh, not the one that I'm going to give. I'll give you another one. You try this. Let's see. Okay, so here you go. Um, remote control to Arika. Yes. Arika, try. With iPad, it's, it's going to be difficult. Are you able to move the mouse? No? No. Okay. Then uh, it cannot be Arika for Gopi. Sorry, Arika. <laughs> okay. So next back to uh, the uh, gallery view. All right. Let me see. Mm -hmm. I, Shri Jayant. Shri Jayant, you'll play for the Gopi's team. <laughs> I, <laughs> he became Gopi. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Hari Priya. Are you on a laptop, Hari Priya? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, great. All right. Raise your hand, Hari Priya. Oh, very good. All right. So now go, go, pass, go, go, peace. So Vihan, you want to start or Haripriya will start? Who will start? Vihan wants to start? Okay, fine. All right. <clears throat> so I'm playing the music. I will not hear anything. <laughs> Okay, Vihan. 
Kamana. One minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. I'm going to wait, 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 one minute, one minute. I'll press on restart puzzle. Uh, Namit, you'll have to start your timer at that. Okay, one, two, go. Yeah, Vihan, you're on. Everybody. <laughs> Namit, you can unmute yourself, wait. Just a minute. Okay, I'm stopping share. Sir, Prabhuji, the time is 56 seconds. 56 seconds. Gopas, Jai, Vihan, fantastic. Okay, now let's see. Haripriya already has a score that she has to beat. In 56 seconds, Haripriya, this is going to be a different uh, image. All right, let me start the music also. Okay, Hari Priya, here you go. One minute, one minute, I'm just going to restart. One, two, Three, okay, go. You're not able to move your mouse? No? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't give remote control actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, wait, wait, one, two, three. Wait, wait, go, yeah. Ah, come on. Ah, <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. The time is okay. one minute, nine seconds. Oh. Just miss. <laughs> okay. Vihan, so now at the end of uh, four rounds, so both Gopas and Gopis are tied at 20 points each. Very good, Vihan, fantastic. Okay, so let's continue with the story now and then we will come back to the games. After one story, then... Uh... <laughs> cheating, it seems. Why are cheating? Who's cheating? All right. So we'll play two games today because it's all short stories. So after the first story, uh, I mean, first half, we'll play one more game and at the end, we'll play another one. All right. Okay, so let's start.
so the first uh, story that we are going to see is called bahula the truthful cow i'm going to do this slightly differently today okay so let me share my screen like i said i'm going to do it a little differently today um i'm going to read from the story book so that you know you know you kind of understand what is a uh, you know feel in the story book all right so i'm going to be reading from the story book and uh, also moving the slides but before that let's dedicate the session to his divine grace ac bhakti vedanta swami shila prabhu pad ki jai without whom we wouldn't have come to know about all these wonderful pastimes of krishna right prabhupad started the iskon movement that's why we know okay so all right so let's start so i'm going to read like i said where's the book okay so this is bahula the truthful cow so i'll read from the story book there used to live in vrindavan a beautiful cow named bahula she was always truthful and never spoke a lie every day she went to the forest she would eat the sweetest grass of vrindavan she would also drink the sweet water of the ponds and lakes there to her heart's content one day she went to the forest for grazing unknown to her a great danger lurked among the bushes suddenly a huge ferocious tiger pounced on her wanting to eat her the tiger roared in great joy bahula froze in great fear her heart raced her mind reeled and her knees became weak just at that time she remembered her newly born calf so far you understood the story okay bahula begged the tiger to spare her the tiger laughed and refused then she asked for time to give her milk to her young calf one last time bahula promised the tiger that she would surely return after much thought the tiger agreed the tiger was surprised when bahula returned as promised he decided to spare her pleased with her truthfulness lord krishna was very pleased with bahula too as a reward he named the forest where this incident took place bahula vana he even blessed her that she will never take birth again lord krishna also made bahula one of his wives in her next birth all right so bahula just by being truthful she became one of the wives of lord krishna in her next birth okay so this is an amazing pastime even today if you go to vrindavan to the vrajmandal area you can see the bahula vana and uh, it's one of the largest forests in vrindavan in vrajmandal area and uh, the holiest place yesterday we saw right the conversation was happening between whom you please tell me that uh, who was telling that even prayag worships vrajmandal who told that
Upananda, right? Upananda had uh, uh, mentioned about Prayag worshipping. Worshipping what? Or Vrajamandal. Okay, Vraja, the whole of Vrajamandal. The 12 Vanas and the 12 Upavanas. Now, in Vrajamandal, Vrindavan is very, very important. Okay, in Vrajamandal, the holiest place is considered to be Radha Kund. Radha Kund is considered to be the holiest place in Vrajamandal. And Radha Kund is in which vana? Anybody knows which vana is Radha Kund situated? Yeah, Vrindavana means Tulasi. Vrinda means Tulasi, Tulasi forest. Bahula won't take birth again. And how did she become? In the spiritual world. In the spiritual world, she became a wife of Krishna. Bhandiravan? Bahulavan. Yes, Gaurangi, you are right. So Radha Kund is in Bahulavan. What a glorious place. Huh? So that's how Bahula, Bahula, the cow, she became so famous all over because Radha Kund got situated in Bahulavan. Okay. So we can understand from this that Krishna rewards truthfulness. Okay. Krishna rewards truthfulness. He doesn't like people lying unnecessarily, especially small boys and girls. He doesn't like uh, small boys and girls lying at all. Of course, even adults also. He doesn't like me lying as well. But, you know, especially from a very young age, if you practice truthfulness, just by that practice, you can become very dear to Krishna. Why? Because Krishna is the Param Satyam. If you see in the Bhagavatam very first verse, it is said, Satyam Param Dhimahi. Let my mind, let my intelligence always be absorbed in that Param Satyam, in the Supreme Truth. And Krishna is that Supreme Truth. So when he is truth, how will he like lies? He doesn't like untruthfulness. So I want to hear from all of you, how many, yeah, the forest was named after this cow, Bahulavana. Okay. So um, how many of you are going to try practicing truthfulness? Hmm? Never to speak a lie. You already do. That's good. Very good. Okay. I will also type me. <laughs> me. Me too. My me too went up. <laughs> okay. Very good. Wow. Everybody. One time only. One time. Unshake. One time. Don't keep spamming. Okay. Very good. Nice. All right. Okay, so let's watch the video of uh, this. After the video, we'll have one more game. Okay, and then we'll go to the next part of the story. Here we go. You want to? Can I play? Yeah, I mean, no, I will choose as usual my inky pinky ponky. <laughs> Krishna killed a donkey. <laughs> What is that donkey's name? <laughs> that uh, no, Krishna didn't kill, of course. Balram killed, but uh, Krishna killed all the associates. Yeah, Dhenuka Sura, <laughs> right? So, Inky Pinky Ponky, Krishna killed a donkey. Like that, I will choose somebody. <laughs> okay, fine. Let's watch the video. Oh, by the way, I have to pause recording. Rem remind me, huh? before I'm about to play the video, please remind me to pause the recording and then restart the recording after that. Thank you. <laughs> ah, this is much better. Okay, so let's go to Bahulavan and uh, watch, uh, visit the different places, watch the video and uh, you'll have Darshan of Mother Bahula also. 
and the Lord. So let's go there. Section. The next section is Sacred Spot. You might wonder whether this all happened really or not. If you go to Vrindavan, you can see for yourself there is a place called Bahulavana and in Bahulavana there are many kundas. Kundas means ponds. There is Sankarshana Kunda, Mansarovar and also there is Bahula Kunda. So here in this sacred spot section you can see whether this place really exists or not. Even today there is a place in Vrindavan called Bahulavana. You can go and watch yourself. It is said in the Puranas that even today in this place, especially the Bahulavana, there is a kunda called Sankarshana Kunda where all this incident happened. In the Puranas, it is said that the Supreme Lord Hari and Bahula as an expansion of Lakshmi Devi resided in this beautiful place eternally and whoever visits here they get the blessings of the supreme lord hari and lakshmi devi so come let's go there
Okay. So what are the different new things that you learn about Bahulavan? Please type. Let me see. What are the various things that you learn? Some significant things. Okay, it has Radha Kund, Bahulavan. Bahulavan is also known as Sankarshan Kund. It's a lake. It has Radha Kund. Mahaprabhu came there. Lord Chaitanya visited. Yes, very good. Okay, Bahulashtami is the festival that is celebrated. Oh, Bahulashtami, you can go on Google and check. Lacks of people gather around Radha Kund. Lacks of people. Okay, and they light uh, lamps all around Radha Kund. It's so beautiful to see. It's so really beautiful. So, yeah, Krishna, mm, it's one of the largest forests, right? Okay, very nice. Yeah, if we have bath there, we get direct darshan of the Lord. Janavi, very good. Yes. Mm, nice. Yes. Okay, great. So now for the new rhyme. And uh, this rhyme is on Bahula. So, and the Bahula pastime. So learn this new rhyme. Okay. So here we go. Here is your favorite section, Rhymes of Dark Joy. I hope you will learn and also have lots of fun in learning this new rhyme. I really enjoy learning this new rhyme. Let's get started. Bahula was all alone, all alone, all alone. Bahula was all alone. Bahula, 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 a tiger chase, Bahula, he was humble. Krishna bless Bahula, 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 Krishna bless Bahula for being truthful. Wasn't it a beautiful rhyme and a little longer rhyme? I hope you enjoyed and had lots of fun learning this new rhyme. So learn it and practice to be truthful always. Hare Krishna. Clever, right? How is that clever? <laughs> okay, so you all like the rhyme? Ah, game time. Yes, nice. Okay, London Bridges. Yes. <laughs> Who was that? Who found out it was London Bridge? Kanishka. Wow, Kanishka. <laughs> Very easy, yeah. Oh, Sri Giant also found <laughs> wheels on the bus. No, 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 no. This is London Bridge. <laughs> London Bridge is falling down. Bahula was all alone. Like that. <laughs>
Yay. Okay, everybody, lower your hands, please. Okay, now it is game time. And then after that, we will continue the story. All right. So I'm going to put you in. Uh, hmm. There are more girls than boys. Wherever I touch, there are only girls. <laughs> okay. Hmm. This is Adhya. Adhya is busy. Adhya, are you on a laptop with a mouse? No. Okay. Go, go, peace. Okay. Hey, Kanishka. Kanishka. Kanishka is no, she's on a she's on a phone. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Hey, Shreya. Is that Shri Hari or Shreya? <laughs> Both of you are there. Okay, Shri Hari. Shri Hari for the Gopas. All right. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Mm, Hari Priya again. Mm. Hey, Adya again. What is this? Please move, no people. <laughs> you are fully stationary. Mm. Abhina. Mm -hmm. So sad. Already Gopas. <laughs> okay, let's see. Mm. Hey, Subhadra. Ah. <laughs> okay, Subhadra for the gopis. And uh, Shri Hari for the Gopas. All right, raise your hands. Aprameyan, drop your hand. Namit, raise your hand. Okay. Shri Hari and Subhadra. Hey, Shreya came. No, 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 no. Shri Hari, Shri Hari. Not Shreya. Okay. Go, Gopas. All right. So this game is uh, what game shall we play? Okay. <laughs> okay, this is a spelling game. Kritika, drop your, drop your hand. Everyone else, drop your hands. Only Namit, Shreya, uh, sorry, Shri Hari and Subhadra. Everyone else, please drop your hand. Okay, this is a... Namit, be ready. Um, so here, what we are going to do is, you'll have, uh, okay, I'll show you. So you see here, you see here, right? So like this, you'll have uh, uh, different words. So you'll have to drag this and drop it wherever it fits okay drag it drop it and click also there like you click it you click on it it will get stuck to your mouse pointer and then bring it here and then click again okay so click on it bring it here click on it again okay so it's pretty simple so uh, this is basically what you are supposed to do. Hmm? Okay. So you know how it is done. All right. Shall I start the music? Let the music begin. Little soft music. Krishna. <laughs> Who's going first? Shri Hari. <laughs> okay, fine, all right. Okay, Shri Hari. I'm going to give you uh, access. Yeah. Okay, when I say three, two, one, Shri Hari, you have access now. Remote control. Check. Check, check, check. Move the mouse. Okay. One, two, three, start. Namit, start.
Okay, one done. <laughs> it's all connected to Krishna. <laughs> Bench is not connected to Krishna. <laughs> Bela. Bela C. <laughs> it's not going. <laughs> okay, put it somewhere. <laughs> Shri Hari, put it somewhere, put it somewhere. Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's one. Mm. <laughs> Bond. Okay, finish the others. <laughs> Krishna. Bond and covered. <laughs> click, click. Yeah, yeah. It's not leaving Shri Hari. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> that branch was very nice, Shri Hari. <laughs> Now, well and maina. Uh oh. <laughs> what did you do? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. No, don't right click. Don't right click. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it to where it is actually. Uh, click there. Yeah. <laughs> one click only. One click. One click. Just one. Yeah. Small. Ah, very good. You understood it. <laughs> Be human. <laughs> Yay! Okay. <laughs> very good. All right. Okay. So, Namit, how much time? Prabhu, Prabhu ji, the time is 4 minutes, 3 seconds. Oh, okay. That's a lot. All right. Let's see. Subhadra, this should be a piece of cake for you. <laughs> You'll not make Bela and all, no? <laughs> okay. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, I'll click on play again and then you start the time. Okay. Wait. A little more energetic music. One minute. We'll go back to our old song. Hmm. Okay, ready? Subhadra? No? Oh, remote control. Subhadra. Got it? Click on play again and you can start. Krishna, Krishna. 
Okay. Now make time. Mm. Wow. <laughs> okay. Gopi, go, Gopi. Vagal. <laughs> ah, done. Oh, that's too quick. <laughs> okay, just a minute. Okay, Namit, how much was that? 39 seconds. Ah. <laughs> Okay, after five rounds, so Gopi's team are uh, with 30 points and uh, Gopa's team are with 20 points. You, anyway, you have an opportunity to, you know, make it equal. So one more round we'll have at the end of the story. Okay, fantastic. Very good, everybody. Thank you so much. <laughs> Win Gopi's. <laughs> Aprameen also wants to participate. You should be lucky. You know, you, when my hand is moving, you should move your face and come there. <laughs> then you can. All right. Okay. So let's continue. So the next part of the story is uh, going to be another beautiful pastime of the Lord. And this place, it happened, this pastime happened in a place called Khadiravan. Okay. And uh, the thing is, the video that you will see, we personally shot when we went there this time. April last month, we went to Vrindavan. So we shot the video in uh, Khadiravan. And uh, it's a very, very beautiful place. Very important place also. Okay. So let's go there. Okay. So what was happening in uh, Vrindavan was that... Uh, the Gopas, you know, Krishna, Balaram, all of them would... Just one minute, huh? Okay, sorry, there was some disturbance echo here. So I just sorted that. All right, so um, <clears throat> Krishna had killed Vatsasura. And then uh, one day, all the boys, including Krishna, Balaram, all the Gopas, see how they do is each boy will have his own group of calves. And they are responsible for those, uh, uh, you know, calves, that group of calves. And Krishna, interestingly, he knew every calf. There are like lakhs of calves. And he knew every calf by name. That's the most amazing thing. Okay, he knew the calves. And later on, when he would graze the cows, herd the cows, that time also, he knew all the cows by their individual names. It's not like cow 1, cow 2, cow 22, Cow 222, cow 222. <laughs> it is not like that. Each of them have uh, their respective names, and Krishna knew them by their names. So uh, they all taking their own group of calves, they came to a reservoir of water, some lake or something, wanting to drink water. And the boys also were drinking water after all the animals, the calves drank water from there. Then the boys also were drinking water. So at that time, 
just next to that uh, lake the boy saw a huge gigantic body you know like a mountain peak which has been broken struck by a thunderbolt or something and it has just the peak of a mountain has just fallen off like that huge uh, uh, body they saw and this actually was a living thing because it moved and that demon was anybody knows what's the name of that demon let me see agasura okay somebody said it just ran yeah bakasura bakasura okay so this huge demon was there gigantic body resembling a mountain peak and he had the body of a duck but ducks don't have a sharp beak but he had the body of a duck but he had a very very sharp beak also you know something like this like a uh, uh, heron something like that he was so this uh, uh, fellow demon <laughs> what he did immediately the moment he saw krishna he immediately swallowed krishna all right this bird swallowed bird demon swallowed krishna when balram and the other boys saw that krishna had been swallowed by this gigantic duck they almost became unconscious they actually became unconscious many of them fell unconscious can you see in the picture some of the boys you know they just fallen unconscious yes do you see yeah so they became unconscious like that and because krishna was their life and soul at that time many of the devatas also came there and they cried out aho aho alas alas you know like that they cried out and the devatas thought okay now krishna is gone so we'll have to help him otherwise our whole business on this planet will be finished how will mother earth's burden be reduced all these demons be killed this demon has somehow managed to swallow the lord so they all became very perturbed so at that time indra took his thunderbolt vajrayudha and struck bakasura the demon fell down but he stood up again and then lord brahma took his brahma danda and struck uh, this bakasura he fell unconscious for two ghatikas one ghatika is 24 minutes so two ghatikas means what is two ghatikas ah 48 minutes 48 minutes he was unconscious but he was not bringing the lord out he is not spitting the lord out so he fell unconscious and he was there then again he got up then lord shiva now he took what is lord shiva's uh, weapon what's the lord shiva's weapon he didn't die he didn't die yeah the trident or the trishula right so lord shiva took his trishula and cut off one of the wings of bakasura but still you know he was alive then why you took his why you know there is one vayavyastra wind weapon he took that wind weapon and attacked bakasura so this bakasura demon was flown away for a long distance he was flown away but then again he came back flying to the same place to fight again with the devatas then after that yamaraj he took his yama danda it is with yama danda he kills everybody but he hit bakasura and the yama danda only broke yama danda broke and then surya came he he is a great archer he shot a hundred sharp arrows into his wing nothing happened kuvera came and with his sharp sword he cut off the second wing of bakasura still he didn't die soma struck the demon with he has a weapon it's called the ice weapon niharastra niharastra soma struck the demon with niharastra he became very cold bakasura and tormented by that cold the demon fainted but he stood up again 
he didn't die then agni attacked him with the agne astra okay there is one fire weapon all his feathers were burned to ashes but he did not die he still continued to live after that varuna bound him with the varuna pasha that is the rope of death and dragged him across the ground bakasura was screaming in pain he was hurt all over but he did not die still then goddess bhadrakali she came and struck him with her mace his head broke he fainted and fell into a deep coma but the powerful demon again he rose up shook his head and roared like a thundering cloud then kartikeya came who's kartikeya who's kartikeya not in our group not in the camp muruga <laughs> yeah subramanya right son of lord shiva and bhadrakali is bhadrakali how are they related ha ah, mother right bhadrakali is the mother of kartikeya she couldn't do anything and kartikeya came there and then he took his shakti weapon and one foot one leg of bakasura he cut off then what happened the demon became very angry he was roaring like thunder like a lion he roared and the demon angrily chased the devatas with his sharp beak the devatas were running helter skelter everywhere the devatas flew to the sky and the demon filling all the circles of directions with sound roaring he flew after them they came to the ground he flew there you know like that so all the devatas thought okay we are defeated now we cannot do anything so all the devatas along with the devarshis and the brahmanas they just offered their blessings to the lord oh lord we are not able to save you now you take care of yourself please be blessed like that they gave up and then they went away from that place okay yes subhadra yeah no so, you said they cut off his wing they cut off his leg why didn't they just cut off his head head yeah they would have tried but probably it, did, it didn't happen because varuna put the pasha his varuna pasha and he dragged try to pull nothing happened such Taking a powerful demon doing toink like that <laughs> they like just one thing tried maybe it didn't happen <laughs> what happened well, described <laughs> right i left cut off the head yeah could have <laughs> so anyway like that you know this was going on and on and then finally what happened um krishna inside the demon he started growing bigger and bigger and he made his body burn like fire so what will happen if uh, krishna was still stuck in the throat of uh, bakasura so ah uh, so that is why probably why the devatas didn't cut off his uh, throat they knew that krishna was there <laughs> right so um krishna was there and probably that's why he didn't uh, they would have tried to cut off his throat and it didn't happen because krishna was there okay everybody drop your hands questions later no krishna not in the demon's belly he was in the throat of bakasura so then when krishna started expanding and becoming like fire the demon could sense that okay the root of the demon's throat was burning and immediately the demon uh, you know like vomited him whack like that <laughs> he just brought krishna out so when the demon saw that krishna although being swallowed by him still remained unharmed he immediately attacked krishna again with his sharp beak you now he tried to attack you can see here again you see here you know he tried to attack krishna with his sharp beak but 
what happened where immediately krishna caught both halves of his beak okay the top portion the top half and the bottom half and just like how a small child will tear a blade of grass like that trick like that he just bifurcated krishna just you know bifurcated the uh, uh, one minute uh, bifurcated the beak of bakasura so easily like that and bakasura died okay and everybody all the devatas there they all were so pleased and they everybody saw that a light left bakasura's body and entered into krishna's body entered krishna so everybody saw that happening okay so now this is how bakasura was killed and the interesting thing is now very important question important point this demon was actually utkala hayagriva's son oh by the way this is not lord hayagriva <laughs> who is he so if, he, if it's not lord hayagriva ah there was one demon hayagriva okay so hayashirsha he was also known as hayashira or hayashirsha right right yes yes so his name was utkala in his previous birth he was that hayagriva's son okay and he defeated the defeated the devatas in battle and stole indra's umbrella that royal umbrella it's called a parasol okay that royal umbrella he took away and he went around stealing from the kingdoms of so many human kings and he ruled a kingdom full of opulence of stolen wealth for hundreds of years he was ruling so something will always happen you no know, if somebody steals property like that one day the demon came near jajali jajali is one sage jajali muni's leaf hut in ganga sagar anybody knows where is ganga sagar ganga sagar where is ganga sagar no no haridwar no okay ganga sagar is the place ah right abhinav hare krishna abhinav you are right so ganga sagar is the place where mother ganga meets the ocean that's why it's called as ganga sagar okay not ganga starts ganga ends okay so that is also the place of kapila muni's ashram you know kapila muni had cursed bagirath you remember that story in rama and kids camp i told bagirath's uh, ancestors were cursed by kapila muni actually and they had all kind of uh, got burnt there so why did bagirath maharaj take ganga all the way to that place was because kapila muni's ashram was there so that place is where ganga touches the body bodies of uh, bagirath's ancestors and they all come back they all get liberated okay so that is why ganga is also known as in connection with bhagirath what is she known as ah bhagirathi okay she is known as bhagirathi very good uh, it started raining here so my internet is again little funny it's acting funny you are all freezing like that <laughs> <laughs> yeah bhagirathi ganga right so you know this is uh, so what happened this uh, demon utkala he went there to jajali jajali muni's ashram in ganga sagar and he threw he cast a fish hook and he caught a fish okay again and again jajali muni was forbidding him don't do it don't do it he was saying but this fellow didn't care utkala didn't care so finally the sage cursed him saying oh demon you eat fish like a duck then become a duck like that he cursed him when he realized the power of um, 
you know jajali muni because immediately he became a duck within moments so he realized the power of jajali muni now you know we may also curse we may take a kamandalu and then you know say i curse somebody you mosquito become a cockroach like that i tell <laughs> you know somebody nothing will happen right so some demon is there and then i am uh, not demon somebody whom uh, i don't like there's nobody like that but then uh, if i curse somebody nothing will happen <laughs> because my power is that much only this demon immediately realized the power of jajali muni because he became a duck he just didn't pronounce a curse actually it happened also all right so <laughs> yeah so you know jajali muni cursed him and then you know always these demons first they will make a mistake then they will go and fall at the feet so he apologized then uh, uh, that's why we should not be demoniac make a mistake and then apologize sorry 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 please 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 like that we should not be demoniac that is like uh, you know that's being like demons so he apologized but the sage had performed austerities for 60000 years okay 60000 years the sage had performed tapasya and he said all right utkala you will enter lord krishna in the vaivasvata manvantara and the 28th chaturyuga we are actually in the vaivasvata manvantara and the 28th chaturyuga there are i told you last time that there are 72 chaturyugas in each manvantara right in one day of brahma there are 14 manus and there are 72 chaturyugas in one manvantara we are in the 28th chaturyuga in this manvantara vaivasvata manvantara okay mm, 60000 yes sai jatin 60000 years he had um, meditated or performed austerities so he said that at that time end of dwapara yuga uh, you will enter into krishna's body like that so that is how he entered krishna's body so at that time all the devatas they all showered flowers on krishna and especially flowers that grew in the nandana kanana what is nandana kanana anybody knows let me see who knows what's nandana kanana nandan forest okay where is that a place nandan van <laughs> yeah where is it maharaj nandas garden okay jyotika is asking me a question <laughs> nandan van yeah right it is in the heavenly planets in swargaloka that's the garden of the devatas from there they pluck mallika flowers and they showered how it would have been na huh? mm, so fragrant of course vrindavan also it would have been like that only it's more than the heavenly planets so anyway they showered flowers upon krishna and then they also congratulated krishna what they couldn't do so easily like an elephant breaking a branch like that he broke bakasuras he tore actually he just uh, tore bakasuras uh, beak so they all sounded drums and blew their conch shells and their trumpets and their bugles and they offered beautiful prayers looking at all these things the cowherd boys were struck with wonder who is this boy like that no everybody always the rajwasis get into this trip uh, who is this boy who is always doing some weird things like this so they were all thinking so they also felt appa krishna has come back they felt their life was restored so when they went back to vrajbhumi to vrindavan they loudly sang all over you know krishna kill bakasura krishna we will learn a rhyme like that you know so they were singing the glories of krishna all over proclaiming to everybody in uh, um, vrindavan that krishna killed this big huge mountainous gigantic demon today like that they sang the glories of krishna okay so then when all the elderly the mothers and fathers the gopas you know cowherd men and women 
they heard about this killing of bakasura in the forest they were all astonished upon seeing krishna and hearing the story they were not able to correlate both how this boy he is so tiny how he killed and he is not even 6 years old he is still kaumara only he is still under 5 years so they were thinking how this boy is able to do all these things and he has protected our sons also from the mouth of death right so they all looked upon krishna and the boys with silent eyes now they didn't want to take their eyes off krishna or their boys now that they were all safe they didn't want to look away here or there you know here and there they didn't want to look anywhere hmm yes kanishka after the story okay so anyway although you know the uh, um the there were so many demons trying to kill krishna but then like how flies are attracted to fire right what will happen if flies are attracted to fire and they enter fire what will happen ah uh, they get burnt maranam <laughs> yeah they will get burnt right so like that these gopas and gopis all the vrajwasis were thinking see these demons are getting attracted to krishna like flies getting attracted to the fire so they were comparing krishna to the fire and all these demons to flies krishna is just pichik pichik he is doing <laughs> not like that he is killing all the uh, demons like that okay so in this way uh, all the cowherd men headed by nanda maharaj they enjoy topics about past times of krishna balram all the time they were glorifying them and they were not feeling any material turbulence no rain no i mean they were not feeling the pangs of uh, uh, the weather the climatic conditions excess heat cold nothing because they were constantly singing the glories of krishna and balaram so like this krishna passed his time so wonderfully by uh, uh, performing different leelas and performing different pastimes killing different demons so like this krishna uh, spent his time in vrindavan okay now let's watch a video of uh, the liberation of bakasura and then Oh yeah recording boss thank you ah thank you <laughs> yeah soft cotton like butter nice okay so next is let's go to khadiravan of course now that place if you go to vrindavan uh, actually when we went last time i mean in april we were asking everywhere we want to go to khadiravan we want to go to khadiravan everybody is like khadiravan khadiravan nobody knows about khadiravan so then finally we asked some devotees in uh, the temple in uh, iskon vrindavan and they said it, nobody knows khadiravan nobody knows where is khadiravan now that place is known as khairo khairo means um, to eat you know like because bakasura ate uh, krishna right so therefore it is known as that place right now is known as khairo okay so that is the name of the place hare krishna prarthana not khairo abhinav always comes with such weird stuff <laughs> this is k h a i r a khairo yeah khairo khairo a not o okay we'll go to khairo khadiravan now <clears throat> you enjoy you by the way watch the video also carefully because i will ask questions in the quiz from sacred spot also ah <laughs> you want you can take notes no 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 this is okay this is our video only that's fine
I hope you enjoyed your video and now the next section is sacred spot. This whole Leela of the Lord that is killing this bird demon Bakasura happened in a place called Kadiravana. Now Vrindavana is full of forest. In fact Vrindavana is also one of the forest and Krishna, Balram, the Gopa boys along with their cows, calves every day they were going to different forests and different different leela or different different uh, stories used to happen in each of the forests. We generally refer to all the 12 forests as Vrindavana but actually Vrindavana is also one of these 12 forests. Now if you have to correctly specifically if I have to say we can say Dvadasha Kanana. Dvadasha means 12, Kanana means forest. So Dvadasha Kanana or Vraja Bhumi or Vraja Mandala. So that means the whole of the 12 forest. In Vraja Mandala or Vraja Bhumi one of the forest is Khadiravana and killing the bird demon Bakasura happened in this forest. Come, let's go and watch this sacred spot.
okay which are the places which which are the places here please type what places have you seen this will be one question tomorrow <laughs> madhurya kund okay radha ras vihari temple very good dau ji mande very good then loknath goswami's bhajan kutir very good okay then Cairo is a place, yeah. Then Loknath Goswami is Bhajan Kutu. Who, who was, ah, Radha Vinoda temple. Radha Vinoda, they are the deities, personal deities of uh, Loknath Goswami. He used to worship. Now, the original deities are in Jaipur, Radha Vinodilal, just opposite Radha Govindji Mandir in Jaipur. The very beautiful deities here also. I mean, you can pause the video and see once I upload on Facebook. Oh, by the way, all the videos, uh, all of the last four days videos have been uploaded on our Facebook page. You can go and watch. And I've shared the um, links also in the Telegram group. Very beautiful deities, Radha Vinoda here also in uh, uh, Cairo. Very, very beautiful. Not YouTube. Um, on, on our Facebook page, Harmonix Life Facebook page. So you just type Facebook. I've seen them once when I went. Yeah. So facebook.com slash Harmonix Life. Yeah, very, very pretty, very beautiful deities. Okay. So now let's Adi Varaha Purana. Yeah, yeah, I just asked about the places that we saw. Very beautiful. Okay. So now the uh, rhyme. And then the game. Rhyme sublime time. There we go. Welcome back to your favorite section, Rhymes of Lantan. Here is this new rhyme for this story of Attack of the Bird Demon, Bakasura. Here we go. Krishna rips the bird demon, bird demon, bird demon. Krishna rips the bird demon, spreads to the It was very short. Rhyme, isn't it? Learn and enjoy this rhyme. Tell it to your friends also and sing along with them and have a great time. Enjoy your rhyme sublime time. Hare Krishna. Ah, Namit, yes. <laughs> Wheels on the bus go. Yeah. So, who wants to sing this now? Let me hear somebody sing. Krishna Ripta Baddiman Baddiman. Okay, Snigda first. Yes, and then Kush. <laughs> Krishna Ripta Baddiman wow. Baddiman Baddiman. Krishna Ripta Bardiman, his friends knew the reason. Wow, very nice. Nikda, so sweet your voice. Lovely. Thank lovely. you, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Nikda, wait, 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 wait. One minute. Again, again. Um, where are you? Raise your hands, Nikda. Prabhuji, I'm here. Where are you? I can't see you. Hey, others, drop your hand. Kush and Nikda, raise your hand. On seer. Snigda, raise your hand. Ah, okay, because I want to spotlight you and then record. Otherwise, only I can be seen. 
चा ओके वन मोर टाइम कृष्ण रिप्त बडी मन बडी मन बडी मन कृष्ण रिप्त बडी मन हिज फ्रेंड्स न्यू द रीजन वाओ लवली थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू प्रभु जी हरे कृष्ण ओके नेक्स्ट इज कुश वेयर इज कुश 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 वेस कुश Hmm? What happened to Kush? Okay, let me see. Kush, yes, Kush. Unmute yourself, Kush. Can you sing? Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Ah, uh, Krishna, Ripta, Bardi Man, Bardi Man, Bardi Man. Krishna, Ripta, Bardi Man. His friends knew the reason. Wow, nice, Kush. So, are you enjoying the camp, Kush? Yes, Prabhu. <laughs> okay, wonderful. Thank you very much. All right. So, one more Gopa and one Gopi. Let me see. Okay, Shri Jain. Yes, Prabhu Ji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna is the body one, body one, body one. Krishna is the body one. is friends to the reason okay thank you shri jain all right uh then uh, let's see somebody who has not come till oh avantika yeah <laughs> avantika yes avantika krishna ripta badi man badi man badi man krishna ripta badi man his friends knew the reason okay thank you very nice all right okay fine we'll stop here all right because uh, we'll we'll try tomorrow you know we have time so tomorrow i am going to have uh, lesser content so we will interact a little more so now we will have uh, a last game So what's the score, Namit? Everybody, drop your hands. Only Namit now. Namit, what is the score now? I sorry, I unmute. I muted you again. <laughs> yeah, brother. The score is Go Gopas twenty and Gopis thirty. Gopi's thirty, and this was uh, round five, right? Okay, after round five, so we have. Uh, uh, okay, so now let's see who's going to come. Um, we are going to have another jigsaw puzzle only. Okay, we'll have another jigsaw puzzle. So let me see. Okay, one, Abhinav. for the gopas okay and then gopis bhavanya <laughs> bhavanya did you play already no okay bhavanya and abhinav are you on laptops and you have a mouse all right okay kritika drop your hand prabha vatsalya drop your hand abhinav and bhavanya please raise your hand so sad vatsalya please drop your hand okay so see i can't give opportunity to everybody so whoever comes comes that's it all right okay so another maze game and then uh, we'll start the music you know how it is done right the maze games both of you you know just have to move right yeah okay so sorry not the maze what is that the jigsaw puzzle let's see who wants to go first abhinav no no bhavanya <laughs> okay bhavanya i am going to give you krishna uh, okay let's see <laughs> Let's start the music. Oh. 
Okay, go Gopis. Go Gopas, both. <laughs> All right. Okay, Bhavanya, I, I'll give control. You'll have to click on restart puzzle and then start. Okay. All right. Yeah, done. Rest when she presses restart puzzle, Namit, you start. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, how much time was that, Namit? Probably the time was two minutes sixteen seconds. Two minutes sixteen seconds. Okay, Abhinav, you know the score. What do you have to do? Okay, so you'll have to beat two minutes sixteen seconds. So, Bhavanya from the Gopis team got an image of Krishna with the Gopas. <laughs> okay. So, if Abhinav gets this before 2 minutes 16 seconds, everything is back to square one. Okay. So, it will be 30-30. Let's see. What do you think, Gopas? Possible? Possible? Yep. <laughs> no, Avantika is saying no. <laughs> Okay, let's see. All right. Mm, what shall I give? Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I know what to give. Okay, so I'm starting the music. Okay, so you know, Abhina, what is to be done? You have to click on restart puzzle and then start. Okay, I'll give you remote control. Yeah, restart puzzle first. Click on that. Yeah, time starts. Yes. Krishna. 
Okay, let's see. Let's hear from Namit. So fingers crossed. How much was it, Namit? Exact two minutes. Whoa! Fifteen <laughs> oh. seconds. <laughs> two minutes. What was it? Uh, he 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 won from sixteen seconds. He won by sixteen seconds. Okay, very good. All right, so. After six rounds, the score is tied between the Gopis and the Gopas at thirty points each. Wow, what a fight! <laughs> okay, fantastic. All right, so very nice. I hope you all are having fun. Um, so now questions time. Only fifteen minutes. Eight thirty. I will stop. <laughs> Not of Radha and Krishna. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, so questions. Those who have questions, raise your hands. I will. Namit has a question. Hmm. Um, Prabhu, activity. Oh yeah. Okay, okay. Ah, he didn't tell the activity. The activity for tomorrow is uh, you'll have to make a collage of Brindavan. Okay, a collage. You find out what's a collage. Collage is basically. um you know a lot of photos images okay so you decorate it nicely uh, take pictures of different places in vrindavan and then you can paste them in a very decorative manner so a photo collage yeah a photo collage yes so you can do it um i don't want a physical collage i want a digital collage okay you don't have to uh, do a physical collage because you have already been doing lot of physical activities so <laughs> ah who is that one minute somebody is okay so why vihan who is irritating you <laughs> okay so you know you'll have to do a digital collage on vrindavan make it nice attractive just don't just take some pictures and you know put like that <laughs> yeah okay abhinav yes prabhu will that be a super over i mean should it tie breaker super over <laughs> yeah we can have a tie breaker yes if it is a tie i don't know if it's a tie we can leave it like that also it will be nice gopis and right. gopas Prabhu, it's thirty thirty. Equally worshipable. <laughs> thirty each. All right, Vatsalya, you have a question. No, sir. Okay. Please drop your hands if you don't have a question. Yes, Bhavanya. 
Yeah, I have a question that um, how did uh, Bakasura fly when his wings were cut? Ah, good off? question. I thought somebody would ask that question. So he was flying by his power, mystical powers. These demons, you know, they all have mystic powers. So by the strength of his, yeah, yeah, those who want to leave can leave. Those who have questions and want to just hang around, stay on, can. <laughs> Okay, Bhavanya. So and I have yeah. lots of questions. Did the, so didn't the devatas know that this will happen like that? And so why didn't they leave it like that? Krishna will uh, just sometimes we know uh, that you know things may happen in a particular way, but doesn't mean that we should not endeavor. Okay, we all know we are going to die. So are we all sitting oh, like this? <laughs> no. <laughs> not going to school. I will die when I'm 60. So I will not go to school when I'm 16. Like that. What is the use? Anyway, it's like a house of uh, newspaper. House made of newspaper. One matchstick, zoop, everything will go up. That's, that's our body. <laughs> At the time of death, everything is finished. Our bank balance, our education, our so-called uh, power and uh, fame and uh, glory and everything is we finished. But are we sitting quietly? No. All right. So like that. And we have to do what we have to do. A man's got to do what he's got to do. Like that. And one more. Didn't Krishna die when Vakasura was like... Krishna like can he, die? You think Krishna can means, die? No, no, no. He kept fire on Vakasura and then did Krishna... His body became uh, uh, very hot. He made his body. He is the master of all the energies. He can produce... Uh, you know, one half of Krishna can be cold and one half of Krishna can be hot. He can do whatever he wants to do. Okay. Bhavanya, okay. second round. Yeah, yeah, it's over. Over, oh, okay, fine. <laughs> All right. Yes, Prarthana. Yes, Prabhu. So you told that Khairo means to eat, like Bhakasura ate Krishna. So, in the, but in the video, it said to chase or both, both meanings are there. One meaning is Brajbasha, one meaning is in Hindi. <laughs> <laughs> Like uh, I was, I wasn't feeling well since yesterday, so I, I, I didn't up upload any activities or something. Okay, no problem. And also, Prabhu for a jigsaw. Now. Fine, Prabhu. I just have throat pain. Okay, be careful. Take care. <laughs> yeah, Prabhu. Also, there's a tip for like uh, finishing the jigsaw jigsaw puzzle uh, easily. So like there are pieces like which have a flat end. Ah. Like Solution only. <laughs> Prabhu, at least like Gopas and Gopis can. I, yeah, yeah, let everybody yeah. figure out. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's why I was like, they were moving it somewhere. I was getting so yeah, tense. You could have done that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. Just, Prabhu, I have to watch the recording today also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch yes. it. I have uploaded till day four. So this also, um, this. As soon as the uh, session is over, there is no editing work now in this. So I'll just directly upload. Okay. Hare okay. Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yes, Vihan. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. Prabhuji, yes. I had a question. Um, uh, when uh, you said that uh, when uh, Akura was uh, leaving with Krishna Balram, the uh, actual Krishna Balram stayed in uh, Vrindavan and the Golok uh, Krishna Balram went to Mathura. Hmm? Goloka Krishna Balram, they went back to Goloka Vrindavan. Uh, the okay. and Prabhupada came on to also mention that um, Golok Krishna was uh, born somewhere else and there was also a Krishna uh, born to Yashoda and Devki. No, no, no. The one who took birth to Yashoda Maya was Goloka Vrindavan Krishna. So, what happened to Goloka? There was no Radha Krishna over there? They were there. They were there also. They can expand into... He is sitting in everybody's heart. The Lord is sitting in everybody's heart in every atom. 
he can uh, expand into unlimited forms prabhu ji this is shloka in brahma samata advaitam achyutam anadim ananta roopam ananta roopam that means unlimited rupas he can expand into advaitam achyutam anadi ananta roopam adyam purana purusham navayavanam cha vedeshu durlabham madurlabham atma bhaktau govindam adi purusham tamaham prabhu ji where do you find all these prayers lord brahma gave it to me <laughs> <laughs> through prabhupad <laughs> Uh, prabhu ji i mean like uh, it's not there in veda base and it's uh, no it's there else. veda base has not the online version i have a uh, i have an app prabhu ji uh, where do you, uh, what is that app veda base the, the app veda base yeah but it's very expensive expensive as in expensive <laughs> uh, how much you can try and tell me <laughs> i got it in 2002 and prabhu ji i have a request yeah. um, can you upload the recordings on youtube please yeah next week monday onwards our youtube uh, channel is blocked now for a week because of the <laughs> tamasha that happened on the first day oh okay, okay. <laughs> uh, what tamasha happened prabhu ji I played uh, Little Krishna and it was copyrighted. Oh no! I was live streaming, right? <laughs> Prabhu ji, you should have uh, like uh, created another another YouTube channel for all the camps. Yeah, I know, but no, no, no. Whichever way it'll uh, uh, see, <clears throat> it was created by Iskon, but then part rights also lies with. Um, big animation of reliance little krishna was created by iskon yeah you didn't know that no who will do uh, better than us but uh, the brahma and all and all those details yeah. exactly as you mentioned so i thought it might be related with uh, iskon no, no, it was done by iskon ah mm. but prabhu ji indra's voice is so funny no <laughs> yes <laughs> he talks like that i don't yes. know why they made like that. <laughs> and prabhu ji some details that you mentioned are not mentioned in the little krishna yeah some things are about varuna some things are not accurate so uh, you know like the gopas they were yes. actually along with krishna thousands of gopas used to go but here they show four five that many only you can create characters no in animation the more the number of characters you have to create the more expensive it becomes in animation and prabhu ji uh, uh, that scene was so funny when that uh, gopi was worried about madhu becoming uh, bird food <laughs> yeah right yeah okay fine hari krishna prabhu ji hari krishna yes nikda hari krishna prabhu ji yes. uh, so basically uh, i had this doubt uh, previous uh, class uh, basically uh, when gargamuni had uh, given name to balram then mm. what was the reason behind krishna's name krishna the name krishna see the padma purana defines this name uh, after splitting it in, it into two parts krish and na okay the portion krish means akarshana shakti krishir bhuvachaka shabdah नश्च निर्वृति वाचक तयोर ऐक्यम परम ब्रह्म कृष्ण इत्यभिधीयते दिस इज व्हाट द पद्म पुराण सेस सो देयर आर टू पोर्शंस ओके व्हेन दीस टू पोर्शंस तयोर ऐक्यम व्हेन दीस टू पोर्शंस कंबाइन देन दैट इज परम ब्रह्म दैट रेफर्स टू द सुप्रीम ब्रह्मन ओके एंड दैट परम ब्रह्म इज नोन एज कृष्ण इत्यभिधीयते वी कॉल इट एज we call him the parabrahman as krishna so the first two lines give the description of what krish is what na is krish means the attractive potency of the lord akarshana shakti krishir bhu vachaka bhu means gravitation earth right so that pull so bhu vachaka shabdah nascha nirvruti vachaka the na refers to the ability of the lord to give liberation see usually in this world we see we attract somebody and we exploit them 
right a master will like ex- uh, master will attract a servant with a lot of money and exploit him like that you know so here in the material world we we attract and exploit we attract and exploit but krishna is so wonderful that he attracts and he gives liberation he gives pleasure okay so krishna means one who attracts and gives pleasure attracts and gives pleasure that's the meaning of the word krishna okay prabhu okay. so, how do you remember all these shlokas <laughs> how do i remember means you memorize that's all <laughs> Uh, Prabhuji, when is the Chaitra month? When is? The Chaitra month in the video. Okay. Chaitra Masa, I will tell you. Uh, it comes sometime March, April, I think. One minute. I'll have to look into the calendar. Mm, yeah, April. Uh, April, May. Okay, Prabhuji. Okay. So sometime April, I knew. Hmm. <laughs> that is chaitra masa okay, okay. hari krishna gorangi where is goranga prabhu ji is here <laughs> hari bol Gaur- hey you still don't have hair on your head goranga prabhu ji we cut it it ah really <laughs> you're not letting it grow hari krishna yes. hari krishna prabhu ji Hare Krishna. Yes, Gaurangi, what's your question? Yeah, Prabhuji, my question is that uh, uh, when we should upload that uh, assessment? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't tell. Okay, so I will open it. Timings. Uh, um, tomorrow, right? Tomorrow yeah, between 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. I'll open it. Okay, Prabhuji. Hare okay. Krishna. Hare Krishna. How long you are practicing Bhagavad Gita? <laughs> Rani is asking. Um, since 99. So that is how many years now? 23 years. In two years, I'll celebrate Silver Jubilee. <laughs> okay. Yes, Jyotika. Jyotika, switch on your video. I don't talk to black boxes. <laughs> One second, Prabhuji. <laughs> My birthday year. Birthday year? Oh, Kirtan. Who's Hare, Krishna. Hare Krishna, Jyotika. Prabhuji, I have a doubt in the activity like uh, when uh, like we can up- upload only one photo with all the images or we can uh, 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 upload multiple photos. One with collage. Money. One collage with all photos. Like all that we can collect in one photo. One photo you should create like, okay, let me show you a collage. Wait. Um, A photo collage. You see here. You search on Google. You see photo collages. These are, so how attractively you make, you see this, this is very nice. See, like that. So you'll have to make it very creatively. I leave it to you how you're going to do. But uh, you just go and search for photo collage. You'll get. No, Prabhuji, I'm asking that uh, 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 we can make the collage, but we can, like, we can, uh, if we take uh, many photos and... Uh, one we'll collage, have to... one collage. Only one photo. One, one collage I want, that's it. Okay, With Prabhuji. Multiple photos. Okay, so you choose the best photos. I will also look at the quality of photos and all that. How creatively okay. it is made and also the quality of the photos. You okay. can even, uh, title, you know, like you can put some text also, uh, descri- description for each of the, uh, you know, images, something, you know, you can give the name of the place, something like that. Okay, Prabhuji. Use your creativity. Okay, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yes, Chayan. Chayan, switch on your video, please. There's a mosquito flying around me. <laughs> don't, don't lie. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Yeah, Chayan, switch on your video. Hello. Can you hear me, Prabhu? I can hear you. I can't see you. 
Actually, my webcam is not working, Prabhu. Okay, Chayan. All right. Fine. <laughs> Prabhu, I have a question that uh, do you conduct any Bhagavad Gita classes? Yeah, we do. Okay, Prabhu. I am means I will, I am interested in doing. Okay. So, can you send me a message info? on Telegram or on... Uh, you can ask your parents to contact me on Telegram or on WhatsApp. So, I will send them the details. Where are okay, you from, Prabhu. Chayan? I am from Kolkata. Okay. West Bengal. Yeah, you can uh, ask them. Uh, Aladini uh, Mataji, uh, send me the information about your class. So oh, I joined. Oh, really? Yeah. Aladini Mataji, send. Wow. Yes, from Mayapur. Okay, okay. Nice, nice. All right. Okay, Chayan. Are you enjoying the camp? Yes, Prabhu. Okay, fine. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Kritika, yes, Kritika. Prabhuji, I have so many questions. <laughs> okay. Two you ask, then I will come back after, uh, uh, you know, I finish. A big my... round of uh, questions. Huh? Round. A big yeah. round of... Yeah. Yes, Kritika. Uh, actually, uh, uh, in the... Uh, when uh, the, he, uh, Krishna killed the uh, bird demon, right? Hmm. Uh, uh, did the bird uh, act? Uh, did the bird demon has uh, bones? <laughs> yeah, obviously yes. <laughs> but why did you show? Uh, they didn't show me. They didn't show because the bones. Because in the video. In the video, they didn't show the bones. Yeah. Uh, Krishna, probably the cameraman was not wearing X-ray vision. <laughs> <laughs> How will you see the bones? Can you see my bones? No. I mean, there there I, are so many years me, uh, yeah, ago, right? See. You are all bones only anyway. So so many years ago, right? That's why the bone should be there, not the skin. After uh, some years, we, uh, we will die and the bones will appear, right? Acha, you are telling uh, the bones right now in Vrindavan of... Uh, of Bakasura, we will go and dig and find the bones, you are saying? Not digging. I, I thought it would be a pool. Ah, like that. <laughs> no, after Krishna left, the whole of Vrindavan was submerged under water. Yamuna flooded and the whole of Vrindavan was, uh, you know, wiped out. Oh. Like Dwaraka was lost, Vrindavan also was lost. Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu only... Uh, re, you know, he kind of rediscovered all the places, different places. Otherwise, Vrindavan was gone. <laughs> what? Yeah. Mm. For 4,500 years, people just knew, okay, this is, you know, a little bit like Vrindavan, like that. But exactly this spot is where this incident happened. This spot is where this incident happened. Nobody knew. It was Chaitanya Mahaprabhu who rediscovered all the places. I thought the bones were just uh, being like this mm -hmm. and uh, they were almost be to be the rocks. No, it was not like that. Oh, everything was gone. <laughs> Snigda is asking, was there any reason behind the submerging of Vrindavan? Uh, it was natural, but under the direction of the Lord. So... I don't know why the Lord does like that. After Chaitanya Mahaprabhu left, Mayapur was inundated by Ganga. So every time the Lord comes and goes, he just wipes out all traces of his presence for some reason. And then later, like Bhakti Vinod Thakur, he found out the different pastime places of Mahaprabhu. So the Lord probably doesn't want, yeah, he wants his devotees to rediscover his places. And he wants to keep away atheists, I guess. Okay, Kritika, I'll come back to you. Nandan, what's your question? Prarthana also, second round later. That can I be the can I play the cake for tomorrow? You, Nandan, when I'm moving my finger, you should come and keep your head somewhere. Then I will choose you. Okay, Nandan? Okay, Daksha, Hare Krishna. Prabhu, today we will be having Kaishara class. Who are you talking to me without switching on your camera? Hmm? You are a uh, HLH student. 
Daksha, switch on your camera. Harmonic students should not talk to me without their cameras on. Ah, see, now. See. Yes. Prabhu, will we be having Kaishara class today? Huh? Kaishara class, Saturday. Tomorrow? I mean, Friday, Prabhu. We will usually have Friday. Yeah, Friday. Yeah, do only decide. Panna. <laughs> Prabhu, it's Friday for me. Kaishara. Yeah, I have sent, I have posted a message in the Telegram group. I have sent an email posted in the community that this week we don't have our regular harmonics classes. Okay, <laughs> All right. Okay, then uh, who's next? Ara. Prabhuji, I forgot. Uh, you said you started something in 1999. Can you repeat what that was? No, 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 no. Somebody asked me when I started reading Bhagavad Gita. I said 99. Prabhuji, at what age you started? <laughs> Ara, <laughs> very seriously. Uh, bro, so, uh, so uh, okay. <laughs> very smart boy. Hmm? Okay. Thank you. Vishaka, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Um, um, I have a question about the collage. Can we do it on digital? Digital only. Oh, okay. Okay, Thank digital you. only. Rayan Shrutvik. Say Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hey, Rayan Shritwik, I loved your uh, um, your fruit basket. It was so nice. Uh, our mother has brought new shapes. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, that's very nice. No, no, you talk about Krishna. <laughs> You used to tell about classes. Do you love classes? Yes. Tell Prabhuji. I love your class. <laughs> Thank you. I love you also. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Prabhuji. Have a Krishna. Krishna. Yamani Mataji, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Okay. Back to Prarthana. Yes, Prarthana. <laughs> Prabhu, so I wanted to tell you this. So before attending Iskon Chennai class, I used to attend Iskon Chennai classes, no. And in that also they mentioned the Damodar Leela and the fruit vendor story. But I don't know why, but their their version was different. So yesterday, like I was reading the Shiva Bhagavatam in, from Veda base, and in that they had the version which you told in this class. So I was confused, how can they have different versions when they are in the same community? So for the fruit vendor story, they had like a longer story, like she was in other part of Vrindavan and she had to cross river Yamuna to meet Krishna. And then like the people there, like they were always talking about Krishna. So she wanted to know who that was. And like, it was a long story only after that. And uh, you told that like when Krishna uh, took the fruits, the, immediately the basket turned into like jewels, right? But they told that after she went back to the shore of Yamuna and she was like lifting the basket, it, was, it felt heavy. And then when she looked down only, she realized that it was full of jewels. See, so I was confused there, about There is that. something called as Kalpa Beda. Okay, different Vedic literatures are there. Sometimes they talk about the same pastime of the Lord, which have happened in different Kalpas. Okay, different days of Brahma. Because Krishna comes only once in uh, a day of Brahma. Alright, so when Kalpa Beda is there, you should decide according to which Yuga you are in, you should decide on which is the primary authority. Okay, in Shastra also, there are primary authorities, secondary authorities, depending on which Yuga we are in. So because we are in Kali Yuga and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is a Kali, Kali Yuga Avatara, and he said for Shastra Pramana, the primary authorities are Bhagavatam and Bhagavad Gita. Okay. So even if some other Purana describes something else, like if you read Padma Purana, a lot of pastimes, some minor differences might be there. 
but because for us the pramanika no the uh, the uh, the most important pramana the most important uh, um, evidence for sorry somebody is calling so evidence for us is bhagavatam if there is a difference like that we always go with what bhagavatam says okay, okay? so sometimes there could be differences you will see that mahabharat describes harivamsha if you take some of the uh, details will be completely different okay so if we have a difference like that we take what bhagavatam says because that is our primary evidence okay so sometimes there can be some devotees sometimes you know i i don't want to you know it's not a comment it's an observation they want to make it a little different from what everybody has heard all the time so they give you know that kalpabeda version but uh, that's okay i mean um, it's it's an individual choice which one they want to narrate which which uh, version they want to narrate okay yeah, because yesterday when i heard that story i was like really confused how can the, there be two different versions there are there are sometimes many versions if you read harivamsha uh, you know some of the descriptions will be very different if you read garga samhita it will be different padma purana different so minor differences only not major minor differences may be there that is due to this kalpa beda because see like narad muni is uh, actually if you read garga muni uh, sorry garga samhita uh, narad muni is describing to king bahulashwa narad muni has traveled across kalpas see considering they are this thing so what he remembers and what he tells will be completely uh, sometimes different from what vyasadev has described or what shukadev goswami has described so that that is where those differences come in okay so people tend to say that oh you know your scriptures are not consistent they don't understand things clearly if somebody is criticizing that our scriptures are not consistent then they don't understand what is the duration for which our scriptures have been you know we are in the 50th year of lord brahma it's half of 311 trillion years so we are talking about 156 trillion years the vedas have been extend no so they have they have been there for so long so there there are possibilities of different versions being there so that's all that's it yeah prabhu hare krishna hare krishna yes krutika last question i said 8:30 it's already 8:40 sorry wait yeah you can unmute yourself no you are not able to unmute yourself kritika sorry now yeah ah uh. what's happening Kritika can you unmute yourself now 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 okay i'll have to unmute all of you uh, okay kritika try now unmuting mm okay then uh, that's all right so you can ask your questions uh, oh one second she said <laughs> or you can ask your questions tomorrow that's okay no issues all right so tomorrow is the last day of the camp no <laughs> you could have told more stories i could have told what more, more stories so many are there we'll keep telling Aug, uh, october we will do another bhagavatam kids camp version 2 we'll continue okay then next april we'll probably either we'll finish or we'll do ramayan camp again ram uh, again ramayan camp yeah we'll see, uh, we'll see. we have so much to learn so much to know <laughs> 
Ramayan camp, where it will be a golden opportunity. Yeah, we'll do Ramayan camp again on uh, in twenty twenty three April. Okay, Ram Navmi around that time we'll do. Yep. Okay, Hare Krishna, everybody. See you tomorrow for the last. Actually, in May twenty twenty three, you can again do a Bhagavatam camp. May no once we do in April then October six months once. Oh okay. Yeah, twice. So, Sutika is like thinking that she can't mute herself. I am mute herself. Yeah. Okay, that's okay, Kritika. No problem. Nine can't. I can't mute myself. Oh, okay. That's okay, Kritika. Tomorrow we will talk. All right. Hey, Krishna Prabhuji. Hey, Krishna. Everybody, good night. Her. See you again tomorrow Hare at six. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Hare Mataji. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Prabhuji, Hare Krishna, Prabhuji, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Prabhuji.